I'm logged on as a farmer and directly see all my fields. I can filter based on the crop and directly get information where I have to act. On this field I have to do fertilizing. I create a task. The system directly shows me all the required background information like type of soil or the weather forecast. In addition it recommends a start date and the last end, st and the last end date. We get all the telematics data sent by the machine. So we get information on the machine itself like engine speed, fuel consumption, wheel based speed and with this can predict for example maintenance intervals. But more important for us as farmers we get really the information what's going on in the field so we really know what amount of fertilizer the machine applied where on the field. Let's see how the new weather information will affect our fields. We see that today at around 7 o'clock six fields are affected. Let's have a closer look why. We plan to do irrigation on four fields. Of course we do not have to do irrigation if it will rain so we can save the resources. In addition we plan to do crop protection on two fields but for doing crop protection it has to be dry otherwise the crop protection product cannot really work on the plant and it will go to the soil. In the end digital farming is an analytics topic. Let's filter on our wheat fields. We directly see how efficient we worked on our wheat fields. On the green fields we already did a quite good job. On the red fields we have to improve. Let's take a closer look on one wheat field. We get an overview on all the tasks that have been performed in the past. So we see what we did and we see what we seeded. In this case in 2011 we had barley, in 2012 we had corn, 2013 potatoes and in 2014 wheat. Let's have a close look what we did on the field. In March we analyzed it and we got information that we have an area with a lot of nutrition and a lot of water within. This information can be put to the agriculture machine as a task map. With this we can save resources exactly in this area because if we know that there's already enough nutrition in the soil we can save fertilizer in this area. The same holds for irrigation. If we know that there's enough water we, do, we can save water here. In the end we see we have a very good crop yield across the complete field by saving resources working efficient and sustainable.